morning students today we will do exercises of this chapter so number 1 is choose the correct answer which of these would be useful for a wild animal that eats deer so we have to identify the quality of a wild animal number 1 is the ability to run fast yes he should run fast the ability to move quietly yes so he can attack his prey large claws and teeth yes all of the above so these three qualities should be in a wild animal so we will mark here all of the above part d second is which three of these can come from hen A meat yes meat come from hen B eggs yes hen lays eggs C feathers yes hen has feathers and milk no hens don't give us milk so we will mark A C and B third is which of these animals is a scavenger what is a scavenger the animals who eat dead animals so examples of scavengers are hyena wild dog and vulture so let's see the options a horse b bear c vulture d tiger so it's part c vulture Number 4th is which of these have webbed feet ducks bears fish goat yes it's part a ducks 5th one is which of these is a wild animal horse no we use horse for riding kitten no we keep kittens as pet sheep Mm, we use fur and wool from sheep bear mm, we don't use anything from bear and we don't keep it at home so it's a wild animal so we will mark part c question number 2 is fill in the blanks using the words in a box so words are silkworm sheep hen x cat number 1 is we get silk from a silk worm we get silk from a silk worm second is a dash is kept as a pet it catches mice second is sheep let's see a sheep is kept as a pet yes it catches mice Does a sheep catch mice? No, so sheep will not come here. Hen, mm, it catches mice. No, egg, no, cat, yes. A cat is kept as a pet. It catches mice. Number third is a dash lays eggs. So we have used cat and silkworm. and now we have to choose from these three and it's so simple a hen lays eggs we will write hen here okay number 4th is we get wool from now we have to choose from these two we get wool from sheep fifth is frogs and fish are similar because both lay dash in water So the last one left here is eggs. Frogs and fish are similar because both lay eggs in water. So we will write eggs here. Hope you have done these two questions with me. Thank you.